Hey guys, I'm Wally. This is Mabel. We thought we'd make a video about how you might do some boxing between a big person and a smaller person, right? Um, we have some equipment with us. You don't need all this stuff. We have boxing gloves, we have focus mitts, but we also have a hedgehog and a throw pillow. Hecky! Right? And you might use these as impromptu punching pads, right? So, if you don't have focus pads, you can, you can hit something like this, right? Uh, you can also use humans as punching bags, right? So the first thing in, in boxing I want to go over is um, how to sort of work with your partner and agree to a set of rules. In boxing, we usually touch fists like this. Yeah. Right. That's our way of reminding our, each other that we're playing a game and there's a set of rules, right? And nobody wants to get hurt, yeah. all right? Cool. Good. One of the first things we should talk about is how you stand in boxing, right? You see Mabel's got one foot in front of the other. She's got her hands up and her elbows down. Can you bring your hands up a little higher? Oh, nice. Brutal in real book. <laughs> <laughs> I see the rule book. You don't have to fight in boxing like this. This is just a good idea to protect your head and your body, right? So, now, when we move in our stance, if we want to go forward, Mabel, do you know what foot we should move first? That's right, our front foot. And if we go backwards, which foot should we move first? Our back foot, okay? So yeah, let's, let's practice that. You see these green X's on the floor, May? Let's go forward to those and then backwards to those. So we'll go forward, forward, backwards, backwards. And now, Mabel and I are both what are called, what's called flat-footed, so we've got our whole foot on the ground. If you want to go to level two, or challenge yourself a little bit, you can come up to the balls of your feet. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. Now let's see, and she's punching already. Let's see if we can move forward and back on the balls of your feet, and if it's too hard, do you know what to do, Mabel? You do not, and you go back to level. That's beautiful. That's right. That's the rule sheet. I don't know if you guys can see. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Forward, forward, backwards, backwards. All right, cool. All right, nice one. So now we are going to go over our first punch. It's called a jab. Can you show a jab there? Remember what that looks like? Yeah. So what, is, what does a jab mean? You, see, um, use your front. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, you can either you can move, you can just sit there. Right. Or you can do. <laughs> Very good. So let's. I, I like the way you you brought that up. Let's try jabbing and not moving our feet. Okay. So again, we have these flat feet, which you probably shouldn't spar like that, but you can, right? You should probably be on the balls of your feet, but it's easier to learn with flat feet, right? You can see May is jabbing already. Ready? To, oh, she's on the balls of her feet too. Wow. Okay, hey, let's do it together. You ready? Let's throw three. One, two, three. Right, cool. And now you want to try stepping forward as we do it? Do you remember how we broke this down where we only move one foot when we do it? Yeah, because it can be hard to remember to move your front foot forward. A lot of people will jump or they'll move their back foot first. And again, you, you can do that. Because this is how humans are supposed to walk. That's right. So yeah, moving in boxing is kind of weird. It's not like normal walking. And there's good reasons for that, strategy-wise. Um, and there's good reasons to learn it this way, and then later when you get really, really good, maybe you can just walk and break those ideas. You ready to try it with just the lead foot? So it looks like this. Pop. Yes. All right, let's try it together three times. One, two, three. Okay, now. That's level two. Level three is you move both feet, right? Let's try it, you ready? One, two, three. Should we go level four on the balls of the feet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, here, here we go. And, and you can even go up to level five, which means you're kind of moving around, you're waiting to hear when I say go. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. Nice. <laughs> All right, 
so one of the games I like to play uh, with uh, martial arts students is called Slap Hands. And it is all about being really quick and being really observant, which are both skills you're gonna, you're gonna need in your boxing here, all right? Yes, slow. <laughs> What's that? You're slow. You're slow? No, I'm fast. <laughs> oh, I see, you're, you're demonstrating slow and fast. So this game, it requires, just like boxing, a set of rules. So the set of rules that we agree on are, we get a distance apart from each other, right? Yes. Okay, let's checking out the rules here. Our feet are gonna be still. Glue. That's right, glue. <laughs> Mabel's gonna put her hands like this. I'm gonna put my hands like this. So her hands. Not like this, like this. That's right, facing forward. Now, my goal, what am I tr trying to do? Slapping. That's right. And what are you trying to do? Get her hands out of the way without Slap. moving her feet. Right. And also, your strength on your head probably being strong. Ooh, good so idea. Go oh, that's a really good point, Mabel. Yeah, so that's smart. So, she sticks her hands out like this. I'm like this. Now, if she moves out of the way, if I miss, oh, I got her that time. That's okay. She moved, so now we switch roles, right? So I go here, she puts her hands by her leg. Oh, she missed. That's okay, we switch again. Here. I miss, we switch again. Oh, remember to start on your legs. Oh, she got me once. She got me twice. If she gets me three times in a row, that also means we switch. Oh, and also, since you can't move like down or forward, or like, can you dodge? These are the two ways you can like dodge, just so you know. You can go up or you can go down. That's right, yeah. Okay. And if you find that one person is winning all the time, you can make it harder for that person. Let's say Mabel got me three times in a row having her hands here. She can make it harder by bringing her hands all the way to the, her back. That's right. And then right. you can also like close them. Oh uh, yeah, you can make it harder, right. But you want this game so that someone can win, so there's a discernible goal, right? You want to show them a, a couple rounds? Here, go back to here. I'll bring my hands up here. Go ahead. So we switch. We switch again. Your, your turn, right? Oh, but remember, start by your legs. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she got me once. Oh, All right, my turn again. I don't, did I get your hand or just your arm? Okay, cool. Nice job. High five. You guys get how to play? Give it a shout. Oh, All right, guys, so we talked about the jab. We played a little game. So now let's do the cross, and then let's hit some stuff. All right? So, yeah, show the cross. Right. It's, it's now, instead of a lead hand strike, what kind of strike is it? Um, so, uh, yeah, back? Rear. Yeah, back. That's fine. Um, I didn't really do flights a lot of that. That's okay. Yeah. You can play boxing from either stance. Most people are going to put what's called their non dominant foot forward. So I write with my right hand. My le That's okay. Plenty of people box like that. That's all right. Okay, guys, so let's throw across together. Let's start with level one where our feet are still. Are you ready? Great. Hands are up. Elbows are by the body. Yep. Feet are glued to the floor. Here we go. One, two, that, that's, I wondered if you were going to notice. That was really good. You noticed. Three. Good. Now, should we try stepping forward with just our lead foot? Yeah. So, don't, like, do this because that might happen. Yeah. That's... Make sure, pretend you're doing the other one and just step like that. Yeah. Don't that's... switch it because you switch the hands and you don't switch the feet. That's right. Very good, Mabel. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. Oh, were you stepping both feet? Okay, let's let's do that. That's cool. Here we go. And back. Awesome. Okay, and then we can bump it up another level. We can come to the balls of our feet. Be moving a little bit. You ready? Do you want to say cross this time, and we'll we'll go. So let's show them. Do you want to hold the head chop or do you want, should I? Oh, you should. Thank you. You're going to have
catch up? Okay. So I've got my hands up, and now Mabel is going to hold it, not in front of her face, but she's going to hold it, and she's going to say either jab or cross. Cross. Jab. And I'm going to start easy with my feet on the ground. Go ahead. But wait, can we say jab and cross? Is that a thing? Try it. Jab. I remember that one. So you can up it. Do you want to do the next level where you move your feet a little? Okay. This one's really hard, and you might make a mistake, but it's remember to try and keep your Pikachu side forward, okay? So that foot is going to be forward. So take a paintbrush and like paint a little Pikachu on the <laughs> And then have yes. the other paint it blue with a little. Yes. Little paint your feet. Good advice. All right, you ready? Jack. What if I move forward? Can you move back? Beautiful. Oh, extra jab. Jab. Jab cross. Nice. Is there such thing as a cross jab? Absolutely, there can be. It's not something you normally learn in the beginning, right? It's a little funky to open with a cross, but you can do it. All right. Cool. Nice work, guys. All right, guys, so the last thing we are going to show you is um, our version of boxing. And in, in the sport of boxing, you're actually trying to knock the other person unconscious. Right? But I, I really don't want to be knocked unconscious. Me neither, right? <laughs> so <laughs> Mabel and I are just going to play where we're just barely tapping each other, right? I mean, I'm good at boxing, but I'm not good enough to knock you unconscious. I'm kind of small. If, there's a I reason there are weight know. classes in boxing too, right? It's really unfair. It's not that she couldn't win, but it's going to be really difficult. Because you're heavier. Yeah, exactly. So the first way we're going to play is with our open hands, right? So no fists, like this. Mabel's allowed to hit me on my belly and my sides. Go ahead. That's a little too hard. Okay. That's okay. There you go. Well, that's a little too soft. Think about the palm of your hand. Yep. Sometimes people will say, try touching the shirt but not the body underneath it. And that's kind of impossible, but, but it's a good goal. And then for my head, you can hit me in the forehead and the sides of the head, but not my nose or mouth, okay? right? So because I'm a little bit taller, I'm gonna take a wider stance and get a little lower. You, you can do that if you want, but you're allowed to sort of stand all the way up from here. Here's how I like to start playing the game. So you start touching me and I'm moving. But don't, don't slap, okay. touch. Okay, like this. There you go, yes. And see, I get a little low, so she can touch me. So by starting this way, I can tell her if she's hitting me too hard. Right, good. So now, keep going, man. I'm just gonna bring my hands up, and I'm just gonna move them around a little bit. I'm gonna move my body. And what do you think, you ready for me to punch back? Okay, cool, here we go. I'm gonna try and match your speed, right? It's okay, and if she falls down, I'm going to wait for her to get back up, because that's the rules of boxing. What if they don't? What if they don't what? Get back up. Oh, then the game's over. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I don't think I even hit you. I think you just fell over. Yeah, I know. Okay. Good. So you're starting to hit a little harder. See if you can go back to nice and light. And now you're going too light. It's a really tough game okay. to balance. It is. Good. Okay. Nice. So that's one way to play. Um, we'll come back and show you guys how to play with gloves on. All right. So now we got our gloves on. Mabel's got her hair up, right? I always forget about that because I, I just almost always automatically put my hair up. If you have long hair, you probably want it out of your face somehow. My hair is short but long, so it gets in my eyes, but I can't really like. Some people will wear a hat, right? Or like a bandana. Mm -hmm. So we remind ourselves it's a game. <laughs> then we remind ourselves of the rule. Uh, here's the rule book. Read that. <laughs> light touch to the body. Light touch to the head. Right? If somebody falls over, you move. You wait for them to get back up. If someone says they're done, you have to respect that and stop right away. Right? 
Cool. Okay. Can you touch gloves? I let Mabel start striking at me nice and gentle. I get myself down here okay, so she can, she can hit me in the head. And she's not hitting me too hard. It's perfect control. And then I might offer her some coaching advice, like, you see if you can bring your hands up. Yes. Now, she doesn't have to play with her hands up. That's up to her, right? And then I bring my hands up, start to defend a little bit. Yeah, she's finding those openings in my guard, which is brilliant. What? And what do you think? You ready for me to punch back a little bit? Yes. Okay, cool. Now let's touch gloves again. If she falls over, I wait for her to get back up. Oh. I tripped on your pad. I saw that. Yeah, it's okay. That happens. Nice. If you bring your hands up, it'll be a little bit harder for me. There you go. I, it's hard. That's why I'm trying to remind you. Exactly. There's, there's a lot, but that was really good. Did you see that time I went to punch you and your hand was right in the way? Yeah. Very good. Nice work, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah. If you don't have gloves, I've noticed that a lot of the equipment companies are offering free shipping right now um, for folks, which I think is great. Thank you.